If you are seriously looking to build a home, then maybe this four bedroom bungalow can be a source of inspiration. The walls were built using precast concrete wall panels and the time it took to install them was one week. In this video, we'll take a closer look at these precast panels and see just how they were used to build this beautiful home. Hi, I'm Nick Moyama from Property Noma. Let's start off by understanding what precast concrete wall panels are. Precast concrete simply means concrete that is prepared away from your site at a controlled facility, which is usually a factory. In this case, this control facility was Square Apple, which is a company that manufactures these panels. Now, to you as a client, these panels come as a finished product. That means you don't need to add any more concrete to these panels or do other activities like plastering as that's already done at the factory. So that's one advantage of precast concrete wall panels. Another advantage is the controlled quality you get. Because these panels are manufactured under controlled conditions, you get consistent quality with all your panels. So that means Panel A cannot be so different to panel B because they are made under the same conditions at the factory. Now, I've talked in length about precast concrete wall panels in a previous video. If you're interested, please click the card that appears now or click the link in the description to learn more about these panels. With that said, let's explore this house. What I like about these panels is the clean finish it gives to the walls. If you look around, you'll notice that these panels make the walls consistent and elegant to look at even before finishing. That means if your budget is too tight or if money runs out because of A, B, C and D, it means you can skip painting your walls but your house will still look good. That's one thing I like about these precast panels. Another attractive feature of these panels is how they interlock. As you can see now, they have an interlocking feature that makes it easy to connect one panel to the next one. This gives the panels a seamless transition between them and gives an attractive finish to the wall. To hide the interlocking joint where two panels meet, a bit of plaster is used to make the wall seem seamless. Another thing, like I said in the intro, it took approximately one week to install these panels. This time-saving benefit came because of this principle that the bigger the building material, the less time it will take to finish construction. So if time is important to you, then you can consider using precast concrete wall panels for your upcoming house. Looking at the top of this house, you'll notice the lack of a ring beam. And the material that is used in place of a concrete ring beam is the steel C-channel. It's the steel C-channel that holds the panels of this house together and it goes around the perimeter of the walls. So that means you can save on the costs that come with making a concrete ring beam. To ensure proper bonding between the panels and the foundation, plastering was used. It's the mix of plaster that will connect these panels to the foundation. And this allows these panels to remain firmly grounded to this house's foundation. Another alternative is to use the same steel C-channel that is used at the top. If you're going to use the steel C-channel, ensure it's properly bolted to the foundation because it's the, it's the steel C-channel that will connect these panels to the foundation. Maybe you're wondering, hey Nick, what about plumbing and electrical works? 
How do these panels ensure the pipework remains hidden and can pass through easily? Well, to answer that, it's important to know that precast concrete wall panels have hollow sections. These hollow sections extend throughout the length of the panel and they are circular in nature. Now, these hollow sections have three jobs, one of which is to help in the chasing of plumbing and electrical pipes. This makes it very easy for plumbers and electricians to install wiring or water pipes throughout the house. The wires are passed through the hollow sections and sockets are cut through at the appropriate sections where they are needed. So this makes it very easy to plumbers and electricians and it also saves their time, which in the end saves you time. The other two jobs of the hollow sections is in the regulation of temperature and soundproofing. This is because air is a poor conductor of either sound or heat. And because these hollow sections are filled with air, it means these panels can regulate temperature easily. When it's hot outside, the inside of the house remains cool and vice versa. And with sound, if it's very noisy outside, the air that is inside the hollow sections will regulate that noise and reduce much of it entering the house. For this house, the height of the panel used was 2.7 meters. There are other heights you can choose from, starting from 2.5 meters all the way to 3 meters. It's important to know that the height determines the price of the panels. The higher the height, the more it costs. The price range starts from 1,950 shillings to 2,210 shillings. As an example, a typical three-bedroom bungalow will require between 100 to 150 precast panels, depending on the size. So you can use that as a rough estimate to know how much these panels will cost you. I've left contacts to Square Apple if you're interested to learn more and to get accurate quotations for your upcoming project. I hope you've found this house tour useful to you to act as a source of inspiration for your upcoming one. And I hope the video has been of help to you. Please leave a like before you go to help the video reach more people. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.